Hi guys, it's Maddie, and I'm here today to ask you, the real people, what you would do with two thousand pounds if you just got given it. So let's go and see what they say. Come on! You just speak to me. No one wants to speak to us. What are they going to do with the money? If I was to give you two thousand pounds, two thousand pounds. If I was to give you two thousand pounds, what would you do with that money? Oh, uh, right now, right now. Holiday to LA. I think the smart thing for me to do is like put it in my savings, but then the other half of me would be like, I want to spend it on my fashion and stuff. Probably spend it on food. So I should save some of it. Yeah. Bar, exactly. Um. Bar new bag. Probably go shopping. Who knows? Who knows? Right, looks like some people need some help. They most certainly do. Oh, no. But don't Thank worry, because we've got you. just the thing for them. Let's go. Oh, come on, we can do this. Hi guys, I'm Maddie Grace Jepson. And I'm Kyron Hamilton. We're content creators that you may know from TikTok or Instagram. But that's not why we're here today, is it Maddie? No, it's not Kyron. Mm -hmm. We're here today to talk about money. Dough. Wonga. Dosh. Cheddar. J jiggling pennies. Okay, I think they got it. Right? Welcome to, to the, the bread, bread show! show. Woohoo! Seeded loaf. Sourdough. Croissant. Bun. Bagel. T-E-E-E-R-E-A-D. Butter that bread. Okay, so, money. It's an important part of all of our lives. And let's be honest, a little extra doesn't do any harm. It most certainly does not. Now, imagine there's £2,100 that belongs to you and you didn't even know about it. You what? That's right. Stop imagining, because it might be a reality for many of you. That's right. You could well be able to get your hands on up to £2,100 when you turn 18 through a savings account called a CTF. CTF? I'll help you understand what a CTF is all about. Kyron, what are you doing? I'm not Kyron. I'm Kyron GPT. Fine. Kyron GPT, what is a CTF? A child trust fund, or a CTF, is a long-term savings or investment account for children in the UK. Basically, if you were born in the UK between the 1st of September 2002 and the 2nd of January 2011, it's likely that the government opened a child trust fund in your name and put some money into it for you to access when you turn 18. That sounds a bit weird, Kyron GPT. Why on earth would the government do that? Well, I'm glad you asked. The UK government introduced the CTF scheme with the intention of ensuring that every child in the UK has savings by the age of 18, helping children get into the habit of saving and helping them understand personal finance. So the money's just sitting there waiting for people to claim it? Yep. No strings? None whatsoever. And exactly how much money are we talking? On average, each child trust fund is worth £2,100. You just have to apply for it, and as long as you're eligible, it's yours. That sounds almost too good to be true, Kyron GPT. It does, doesn't it, Maddie? But you can trust Kyron GPT's data. Kyron! Here's a step-to-step -step guide on how to claim. Ask your parent guardian, do you know where my child trust fund is? If they say, <laughs> uh, I ain't got a clue, then you've got two options. You can ask the HMRC to find it if you're at 16 or over. HMRC, His Majesty's Revenue and Customs, is the government department that collects UK taxes and distributes some forms of state support, such as child trust funds. Thanks, Karen GPT. Or you could also try ShareFound, which has a tracing service. Ask your teachers for more details. However, if they say, <laughs> yeah, I know exactly where your child trust fund is, then great. With their help, you can decide to either leave it where it is and let them manage it on your behalf, or you can think about accessing it and possibly explore other investment options, which we will be covering in upcoming episodes. Once you've found and claimed it, you'll have a pot of money to decide what to do with when you turn 18. It sounds pretty straightforward. I know, right? And to give you a chance to add to your child trust fund money, we'll be holding a prize draw for one lucky person to win a lump sum this term. A lump sum? You have to get the... Lump. Try the lump. Lump. Aye. Yay! What if you're not eligible for a child trust fund? Can you still enter the prize draw? Well, that's the good news. You totally can. Nice. 
But Kyron, getting the money into your account is the easy part. Mm. The tough part is knowing what to do with it. Oh my. I'll sort this out quick. Who are you now? Can you not see the resemblance? I'm Kyron's mum. Now you mention it. And you're right, it is very difficult. No matter how much you try and teach them, they always want to try and spend their money on rubbish. Look, look at this. I brought this from home, it's room. Whether it's junk food. Do you want that lolly? You ain't touched it. Right. Clothes that barely even fit them. And these games. They get bored of them in a week. It's just... <sighs> Kyron's mum's right. There's always stuff we want, but do we really need it? And are we spending money on something that we want in the moment that could be spent on something we actually need in the future? Such a clever girl. My son can learn a thing or two from you. Aww. Thanks, Kyron's mum. It's all right, love. Making smart financial decisions gives you choices and creates opportunities for you, both now and in the future. And now you've got a chance of having a substantial amount of money in your bank account soon. The rest of this series is going to help you think about what you might want to do with it. What just happened? We finished this episode and you might want to pay attention to the rest what of the episode. Like Sounds like your money management isn't quite up to scratch. You've been talking to my mum, haven't you? Don't forget to apply for the prize draw and carry on watching to gain more money skills. My mum was here in the studio, right? Bye, guys. <laughs> oh, bye, guys. <laughs> I can wave on my own, yeah? yeah? They I can. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye bye. So I can do it on my own? No. Well, you literally cut the cameras off and let go. Oh, I don't want you to talk about You can let go. I don't They've want cut you the cameras. It's home time. Bye. Bye, guys. See ya. You can carry on waving if you want.